As a chef, we want to work with whole fish because we know how fresh it is. We know that it's been taken care of. Oftentimes in our world, you know, if you just order fillets, you don't know who's handled that or how they've handled that. And the, the integrity of the product, as well as the process and each step along the way, is very important to me. So I want to be able to control as much of that as possible. My connection with Sabina makes that possible because I know that she takes care of her fish. And I know that it's a quality, sustainable product. Wow. It's massive. It's absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful fish. So, as a chef, you went to culinary school. Mm -hmm. You've learned how to break down fish. They don't teach you this in culinary school. They definitely don't. So the process that we go through here is we remove this fin, mm -hmm. and then we cut just behind it. Okay. Sometimes in front of it. The smaller the fish, the less usable chop you can get down here. So this portion from the back on, we'll smoke and use that in, say, oh, like a white fish salad or you know something for brunch. And your main chops, just like on a you know, like a, a rack of beef, are gonna be in this section here. You gotta look at your striations on the side, because you wanna make sure that you go right through those. Wow. And it's got this really incredible fat content in it. Unbelievable. You can see those yellow striations of fat. Then this is the point where you're gonna, you kind of roll it up sure. into this shape. We remove the fins, and then we use a much bigger saw to get through here. Mm -hmm. And then we end up with our bullet. This is what we put in the freezer right here. You freeze it to tenderize mm -hmm. it. The water molecules inside of it will convert to ice. And then those tiny little ice crystals will make little cuts. For the sturgeon, it's pretty necessary because it is a very, very tough fish. And it also makes it so that we can cut it. But we have to cut this on the bandsaw. <laughs> just pulled these sturgeon chops out of this wood burning oven. What I love about your approach is that it is so southern. It and it's is. using this totally yeah. unusual protein, the seafood, sure. that doesn't normally come from here, but it's, you know, it's raised 90 miles away. Sure. You know, it's barbecue at its heart. I mean, my roots are southern. Um, my tastes are global. Um, and, you know, we just wanted to bring that in and sort of, you know, get as much flavor as we could in a small plate using a fish that is a viable, local, sustainable protein source and create an outlet for it. And the response has been fantastic. So you have this dry rub, a bourbon peach barbecue sauce, and the squash underneath, all of these different layers with the bitterness of the frise and that pop of the acid from that vinaigrette. I mean, it's kind of like every single flavor profile that you're looking for in a dish sure. seems to be represented here. We're looking for that that perfect roundness in the dish. And I think we've I think we've come close. Well, I think we're gonna have to try it. It's delicious. It has the texture of like a really nicely marbled piece of pork in a way. Sure. And so Using that barbecue application makes perfect sense. That is yeah. delicious. Yeah, it's thank really you. good. It Who knew? Sturgeon from North Carolina? It's, you know, I think a lot of people, when they come in, they've never heard of sturgeon. Yeah. Or they're not willing to try it. Um, and then once they try it, though, they're converted. Uh, yes. <laughs> Tasting this would definitely convert you. We are slowly converting the populace, chop by chop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.